Hello, I'm Don Santos. This is Honest Portuguese, and we are still at our house party. So right now, we are going transitioning into the dessert for the, the dinner that we have. Also, big news is we were able to obtain the services again of my sous chef, Jeff. <laughs> So that was a big deal. You get your apron in episode four, <laughs> <laughs> is, what I, is what I was told. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah. And again, I got, I, earn I, it. I got my wife here to do the, the fancy stuff that I don't like to do and no can't do. Can't do, <laughs> can't do. So we are making malasadas or filage, whatever way you want to pronounce it, it's a Portuguese donut. And they are phenomenal, uh, cooked fresh, cook, cooked hot, they are just great. So because it's baking and I'm not very good at baking and it requires precise measurements, that's where I require the services of my wife who really does well. Let me go through some ingredients that we're gonna be putting together here. First, we have the canola cooking spray because this stuff is like lava. Make sure when you are mixing it, you either have gloves or grease down your hands a little bit or it will stick everywhere. We have four cups of flour. We have three quarters cup of melted butter that we obviously we're gonna melt, melt for you. We've got a third of a cup of sugar, four lukewarm eggs. We have one lemon that we're gonna be using for lemon peels. We have a cup of milk, uh, lukewarm milk, and we're gonna be putting lemon peels in the milk. And we have a, um, some yeast ready to go yeah. for the rising of the donuts. So all that being said, are we ready for this? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to dump. First, first thing we're going to do, we're going to put the dry ingredients together, which is obviously the sugar and the flour. And we're just going to like toss it around, making sure that everything is mixed together. Then I'm going to melt the butter over here. Should have done that a couple minutes ago, but we are okay. It's with the magic time. of live TV. <laughs> and I'm the baker in the family, in case anybody wanted to know, because you always comment about I'm the non-Portuguese person. Well, yes, and that's why you are the baker. You are the I'm the measurer. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, then, put the rind in? Yeah, you're going to put the rind in the milk. Okay. Warm, well, warm. warm milk. Yeah. And we, we're going to leave the rind, you're going to wonder if we're going to take it out. We're going to leave the rind even in the mixture. We'll be able to pick it out when we start making the donuts. They're, it's an obvious obvious thing that you'll see when you could pick them out. We're gonna put the four eggs. Jeff, are you good at cracking eggs? Oh, I can crack an egg. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Please do then. Pretty high level. See that? In here. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. You got four, enough. four of them to do, Jeff. I could probably do eight, no problem. Yeah. All right, can you bring that uh, yeast and water in for the Whole thing, dump yep. it in. Yep. Hey, you're not in showbiz. You can't talk. Oh. I got, uh, this is all me. <clears throat> I'm trying to earn some, Please, to earn uh, some money put, around here. Can more you put lines. The yeast together in the. More lines. Trying more to money. move in on me. Now, a, a Bobby Flay or someone like that probably would have had the, melt, the uh, butter already melted. So uh, I didn't, and I apologize. So it's, it's going right now. It's only three quarters of a cup of butter. Okay. Run that in. Yep, and then the warm milk. Dump yep. it in? Yep, with the peels. Whoa, that's really... Nailed that. <laughs> Nailed it. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this thing to a, a paste kind of thing where it becomes elastic. Then you have to put the glove. Then this is where the sticky part comes in because she's going to get it down in it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, as you'll see, we're gonna work it out. Probably about three or four minutes. Budget your time, three or four minutes. I don't know if she'll do it three or four minutes because she's very efficient. So it may take her a couple minutes. See how I got out of that one. And uh, you want it so that it's a little elastic. Yeah. And then we're gonna, when that does happen, we're gonna put a towel over it, let it rise for about an hour and a half. Double in size. Double in size. And then when it does that, we're once again going to fold it over. 10, 12, 15 times. See how it's getting more elastic as you're working? I'm just saying. <laughs> Honest Portuguese with Tiffany Santos. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> 
then we're going to take a towel and we're going to put it over and let it rise for about an hour and a half. Okay. Then after that, again, we're going to fold it 10 or 12 times, let it rise again. The magic of TV and, and again, the essence of time, we have already done that. And this is somewhat of the finished product. It is a ready to cook. Over here. Is this after the first rise or the second? That's after the second rise, okay. my wife, that I love. And we can... <laughs> <laughs> so over here I have uh, oil, uh, Crisco uh, canola oil, getting ready to go here. And what you do is you'll take a piece here, about a golf ball size. This is a quick, quick, quick fry too. So... And Tiff, if you would, can you take one of these paper bags and put like about a half a cup of sugar in there, please? And Jeff, if you, you want to be the bag opener and she could be the... So, probably got it about that size there. And we're going to put it here in the oil. It is quick. It is a quick process again. I want to tell you that. Now, as you could, I don't know if you can see, but they're already starting to turn brown. You can't see. You can't see. So trust me, they're already starting to turn brown. Okay. So your first turn could be okay because it's got that very nice little browning there. Nice. These make quite a bit, of, quite a few donuts too, by the way. We'll let those ones cook. And then what we're going to do when they are ready, we'll put them down on the uh, cooler here just for a minute or so. Then we're going to put them right in, the, right in the sugar. Got a golden brown. Look at that. Like you've done it before, Jeff. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How pretty that is. Sorry for all giving you family stories, but this, this was the, uh, the, the treat we'd get over my uncle's house the Tuesday before Lent. 40 days of, they always made me give up sweets for Lent, you know, not by choice. I always try to get away with something a little easier, and they always went right for the sweets. Donnie, you're going to give up sweets for 40 days. I was like, I don't want, what? I, you do your own thing. But that was the life of a Catholic in the 70s. So doing good, Jeff? As a notice, too, these are taking a little bit longer to brown. As more dough gets in, the oil cools down, and they do need to cook a little bit longer. Thank you, Jeff. Science. <laughs> Science. <laughs> so I'm going to... Then, if my audience would like to be my tasting guinea pigs on this. Now, would it be acceptable, Don, to Americanize that and throw a little cinnamon near sugar? Ooh, do you guys yeah, ever do that? Yeah, Anybody? Yeah. No, 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 no. I know you're petitioning to be Portuguese. Yeah. That would just, throw you right off the, uh, yeah. that throw you right no. off the, the butt. I've almost earned so my card. I want to stay. I don't want to ruin it. So, Tani's going to give it a try. She jumped right in. Hot and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Translation was hot and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, please. Rebecca, would you like to jump in the camera and have... <clears throat> Anybody else? Andrew? Please. So, also, remember I told you about the lemon rinds? There's one there. I could pull one, pull one right out. So these are fiage malasadas, and I hope you enjoy. Easy recipe. It is a crowd pleaser.
Jeff, thank you so much. Very least I can do. Least I can do. <laughs> Honey, thank you so much. And to my paid audience, <laughs> I'm not giving cars away like Oprah or anything. Uh, but I'll give you a ride around the block if you guys want. You get a Portuguese donut. You get a Portuguese donut. <laughs> thank you, guys. That was a good one. Uh, Portuguese donuts, malasadas, whatever you want to call them, just call them phenomenal. Love them fresh. My dad was a baker. Everything had to be fresh. Uh, again, I don't even know why I'm saying that. They never made it past a couple hours, so there was never leftovers. And if we happened to drop one on the floor and it got kicked under the couch and someone found it, just we heated it up somehow uh, and ate it. Uh, so uh, thank you for everything. Uh, love this video. I was with my coworkers who are just wonderful people and uh, made it very fun to do. I got another one coming with uh, linguisa bread that uh, you guys look for. Uh, tell your friends, share, like my pages, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagrams, whatever, everything else in the social medias. Have a great day and always be nice.